So before we start painting, we need to get ourselves a template. In the Dirt International Racing Tour, we have our Painter's Portal section with all of our templates. Um, but for whatever game that you're utilizing, like I said in the previous one, whether it's iRacing, R-Factor, any other game that you're able to get a 2D image onto an object, you'll usually be able to find templates that people have created that will be layered files. Um, and so in this case, we have our PSDs here. And the way that you would go about these, um, whether here for dirt, you know, I'd go into these folders for particular cars. But the thing is, like, you click open in this section here. And for Google Drive, you just click this download button at the top right, and it will download the file. Um, I've already got all the files downloaded, of course. But that's what you would want to do. And then next up, you would go and find your files and you'll open up the template. So in this particular instance, I'm going to work on one of the more basic cars out there, a late model. And so we'll pick a Rocket XR1 late model. And so I actually have uh, a little bit of a custom thing with my templates that I always save. Um, I save my Tosma Designs logo and my Team 25 race car logo on particularly for late models, the Team 25. But on all my uh, templates, I've decided to save the Talisman Designs logo, so it's ready to go. Um, if you download the ones from Dirt, they will not feature that. So you can actually see a little preview here. Don't have it. And one big thing that I notice is that people oftentimes will take a print screen of this car here, this, this preview image, and then we'll try to draw on this. The reason why you don't want to do that and instead want to download the file and open it in something like paint.net like I'm doing here or whatever other software that you decide to use that you enjoy using is because of this layered element. And so the thing with layered files is that you know we can get underneath layers and so for example I can change the body color here without upsetting everything else. Um, and then the other thing is, is that if you take a picture of that preview, you won't be able to turn off the mask. And that's a big deal because you don't want those gray lines showing in because the, the gray lines for the mask are right up against the edge of what's called the UV map. Um, or typically also called a wire mesh where you can see all these lines here. And that's another layer that you can pick up and, and look at. Um, and these wire meshes can actually be used to help you line things up uh, as you go. So for example, uh, if we notice here, you have like this little triangular section right here. And then you can kind of tell there's a really, really small triangle here with this box, and then another box, another box, another box, another box. And so if we map this out, what you're going to see is that there are five boxes from uh, this really large box, and then this more squarish box, and then third box, fourth box, fifth box. In the same way, over here we can see that there's this really large box, then a slightly more squarish box, then three, four, five. So if we actually draw a line at the edge of this box line right here. Let's say we do that right there like that. This will actually line up with this line right here. And so if you wanted to create a design that specifically goes over the edge of the, the car side onto the top part here, you can help use these lines to line things up. Um, and in the same way, we know that this section here uh, if we take our, like one, two, three boxes, is going to line up with one, two, three boxes here. And so once again, if you just line up with that line, you'll be able to line up stuff like that. Um, now, typically on a late model, you don't line up things like that, but you can. Um, that's an ability that you can do. Uh, so now that we have our template, we can get into exactly whatever it is that we'd like to design here. And so now you need to think about 
are you going to try to come up with something off the cuff or are you going to try to replicate something? If you're going to try to replicate something, I will go over that in the next section. Uh, otherwise, you can skip along to some just random ideas that I have about how to design things if you're trying to just kind of go off the cuff. Some general ideas of how you can go about things like doing a gradient, creating just randomized shapes, uh, etc. Uh, so at this point, this is a bit of a branch in the tutorial. You can either pick replicating or going off the cuff.